walking down the power line while those deer were crunching in there. And then I filmed them as you saw, crouching down watching. As soon as the deer blew at him, he took off after the deer. They kept blowing and running. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Don't let people tell you that bobcats will not try to take down deer. There was a group of four does coming through there. And I could hear them crunching their brains out. I thought I was going to get a shot. But that bobcat had other plans. He was going to try to make a meal out of himself. I'm going to sit tight a while. Hope to make it happen. Just lay down a smack on a freezer full of spike on. And I don't feel bad about it at all. He's gonna eat good. I made a good clean shot. And that's what it's all about. Getting out here with my Matthews, my video camera, enjoying the great outdoors, all this stuff that the Lord has provided for us, making a good ethical clean kill. That deer didn't go 35 yards, he's down right there. Nothing goes to waste around here. And we'll enjoy him as much as any doe or big buck. There's one for the Hits Outdoors team. Let's fill that freezer, baby. All right, Jennifer's gonna go around the other side and pick up the blood right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. That green fire knock all lit up nice. Broadhead still on it? Nope. Broke the arrow off? Yeah. He should really stop pouring some blood then. I can't imagine he went much further up this one. Hey, you guys saw that shot? The deer came down the power line. He crossed at an angle. He looped up. I thought I was going to have to shoot him up in that wood line. Was, for whatever reason, he looped back out, come right across the food plot in front of me. Then he decided to head back down. He was going to go in the woods there, and he stopped and gave me that quarter and away shot. It's only 22 yards where I shot him. It went in perfect, just where I aimed. I always shoot for the exit hole. So I went in just behind that last rib, 
It's got both the lungs and the broadhead is right here under the skin. It just perforated the skin right there. It didn't quite come out. It broke that shoulder on the far side. So I've only got a few more days home from California. I really need to get some meat in the refrigerator, in the freezer. Well, I guess now the work begins. I gotta get him gutted out, get him dragged down there to the road and get him out of here.